Jim Holly, Supercross Live on supercrossonline.com. I'm here with the team manager, Larry Brooks, of the Sam Manuel Band of Mission Indians. Larry, here it is. You got a three-point lead, your team going in with two rounds to go. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, we uh, we had a little luck last weekend and gained a lot more points than we thought we were last week. So, um, you know, we left uh, Seattle with three plus three points, which uh, is really good with two races left. So it's coming down to the end, and to be close to the lead or in the lead at this point is a good situation. I got to ask you, uh, when Chad went down, what was your reaction right away? Like, oh man, we got a chance to gain some points. Well, James was right there with him too, so I didn't know if both of them had tangled or I, I didn't really see the incident. And then Chad fell with uh, when Tyler ran into him, and uh, you know, I, I didn't really know. I was more confused of what was going on because I couldn't remember the last time both those guys were at the back of the pack. So, you know, it was more of a, a shock, I think, than anything. And then, then we were trying to figure out count points and count positions and all that stuff. So it was a it was an interesting night for sure. Something I was counting. Uh, uh, your rider, James Stewart, had the problem in Daytona at the start. He gets up and finishes seventh. Chad Reed has problems last week in Seattle. He gets up and right. finishes seventh. That's how the season's been, though. Yeah, it seems like it. You know, no one's really been able to gain big points and lose gain big points. You know, uh, the first race was about the biggest difference between the two, you know, with James not finishing that race. And so, you know, we'll see. Two more races to go, and it's exciting, and I think it's really good for Supercross, and I think all the sponsors and the riders and the sport itself. So it's a good season so far. All right, one last question for you. It's Salt Lake. City, we're about 4,500 uh, feet above sea level. I always hear the Suzuki because it has a fuel injected, and you're still running the Yamahas, which you got to jet them in. Are, are, is the jetting setting ready to go tonight? Yeah, no, I think it's good. You know, um, carburetors are good. Uh, you just have to work with them a little bit and make sure they're spot on. And you know, it seems like our bike's running well. We haven't got it on the track, obviously, but you know, in the pits and, and just feeling it, and you know, it feels really good. You know, and. There's a, there's a lot of options, and, and you know if we just uh, you look at every one of them and try to make the, the right decision, that's all we can do. Do you come up here uh, and maybe yourself throw the leg over the bike lane? Let's go to a local track. Let me, let me feel how this thing's running. You know, we did a few years back when I was working with a different manufacturer. We came up early because of that Denver National, and we did a little testing, and we learned a little bit. You know, I have the same engineers and stuff, so, you know, they're, uh, they're still working, you know, under the same, you know, knowledge that they learned then. And, and Yamaha, they did a little bit of work a couple years ago coming up for the Denver National. So I think with both our people together, I think uh, they have enough to, to put a good jetting spec in there. We heard it from Larry Brooks. He's ready to go. He's got all those jetting specs down. We'll see what happens tonight here in Salt Lake City.